Hey friends, good evening. Today's adventure brings us to Carolina Beach, North Carolina here on Pleasure Island. And I'm here today to talk about this man. This is Robert Harrell, who he ended up being the Fort Fisher Hermit. And I always thought it was a very interesting uh, life this man led. So with that being said, let's get into a few facts of his life. So this is Robert Harrell. He is also known as the Fort Fisher Hermit. Um, I'm here in Carolina Beach on the back side of the Last Resort Bar. And uh, Harold was born February 2nd, 1893, Shelby, North Carolina. Died June 4th, 1972. He became a hermit in 1955 at 62 years of age. And uh, after a previously failed marriage, he was committed to a mental hospital. And then when he was released, he actually hitchhiked from Morganton, North Carolina to Fort Fisher, North Carolina and actually uh, made his home in an old World War II bunker where he lived out in the middle of a salt marsh. Um, he pretty much fed himself, you know, fishing and scavenging off the land. And then after a few years of living out there, visitors started figuring out he was out there. So they would actually come and visit Harold. And uh, he would actually, he would actually have enough people show up and they wanted to um, learn about his school of common sense is actually what it's called on Google when you look up the history about him. So he had a school of common sense and would talk to people about common sense and uh, just the way life is in general. And they would actually tip him and give him money, you know, in an old frying pan he had out there. Unfortunately, Harold uh, succumbed to a heart attack under mysterious circumstances in 1972 where he died. But there is a lot of uh, question marks around the way he died and if that's really true or not. So. You can read up on that if you want to, but I ain't getting in all that today. But uh, we will uh, go ahead and take our little truck and uh, head to the south end of the island to, at the Fort Fisher Recreation Area. And uh, let's walk out and see if we can find his uh, World War II bunker in the Salt Marsh. See you in a minute. All right, guys, welcome back. We're at the Basin Trail and the World War II bunker is 0.8 miles away. And this is the Fort Fisher Recreation Area. So this is kind of kind of path we got down through here so if you do come make sure you spray yourself down with off because i've already like seen like 80 mosquitoes so this here gives you some bearings of where we're at this is loggerhead road 421 so you are here son so we're going to walk down through the basin as you can see they got highlighted in the salt marsh area world war ii bunker there observation basin over the way down there at the bottom so there we go So I ain't gonna talk this whole entire time, but I do just wanna give you some highlights of the trail, kind of what it looks like. There's a lot of, you know, foliage. It's a lot of it's in shade here in the beginning. But as you move through the trail, there is a section that uh, can be kind of difficult. Uh, it's kind of saying that you kind of step onto the beach just a little bit. And uh, so definitely when you come back here, always have on some kind of shoes, cover your feet up. Um, you just never know what you might <coughs> run into on these trails. I have seen snakes back here before, like a copperhead. So just always think about your safety, uh, when you're walking through these trails. I think, I mean, right now it's summertime and it's, you know, kind of humid and hot, but I think it, uh, a good time to do this if you've never done it before, or if you don't like a lot of heat is definitely the fall, you know, when the temperature is a lot cooler, a lot less humidity. So uh, when we get up, uh, when the terrain changes a little bit, I'll give you a little update of what it looks like. So right here, we got the aquarium gate, the Basin Trail left. So just to give you some bearings of where this is located is, you can see through this fence right here, you can actually see the Fort Fisher Aquarium. I don't know if you can see it, if you just don't pick it up on camera or not, but the actual aquarium, North Carolina Aquarium, at Fort Fisher is actually beyond this gate right here. So you're just behind it. And um, we just ran into some people a few minutes ago that said that, <clears throat> you know, look out for banana spiders. So they supposed to be really big and pretty. So <laughs> we'll keep our eyes peeled on that and any other kind of living creature 
back through these trails. But like I said, this, this early part of the trail is really nice because it has got so much shade. And uh, just don't forget your off if you come here in the summertime. I cannot stress that enough. All right, guys, right here, we just got out of the foliage part, walking through this part of the trail. Then this here will actually bring you out onto the beach. Basin Trail to the right, Visitor Center to the left. So this area, as you can see, there's a four-wheel drive vehicle out here. So it's pretty cool down here at Fort Fisher. If you have a four-wheel drive vehicle, uh, you can actually drive out onto the beach and spend a nice day out there and uh, have yourself a little picnic or something. So always, oh, it's just beautiful out here. I love this area. As you can just imagine what it was like living out there and that stuff, right? You know? And right there is the Fort Fisher Aquarium. That's a much better shot of it than when we was in the woods. So, uh, and that's a really awesome place to go. Maybe we'll visit there in, uh, in the future and do us a video and kind of show you. They, they, it's an awesome aquarium, man. They have a lot of aquatic creatures in there. All right. So we made our trek uh, down the beach, the sandy path area. So now the path tells us to go back into the, uh, the brushy area, this foliage. So just bear with me. We're getting a little bit closer. And uh, yeah, definitely do this in the fall because it is pretty hot. <laughs> so... Uh, I still ain't seen no spiders, but I've been keeping my eyes peeled. A lot of these bugs, oh man. I mean, you can just hear them out there. You know? All right, guys, we've been walking through the, uh, the thicket back there, and now we have uh, arrived at this big, long wooden path. It's actually built up above the uh, salty, muddy marsh area. Golly, that's beautiful. You just look. It's definitely nature at its finest, right? I was walking along here and if you can see down in the water there's like a turtle I don't know if that's showing up but yeah he's just out there swimming around that's pretty cool hopefully we don't see no gators or anything but that turtle right there he's just having a good old time and he's got all kinds of stuff in there to eat on because there's a lot of movement fish and things like that and I thought that was a turtle but no that's no turtle that is a crab you see them you see there's all those crabs in there I thought that was a turtle but no that's just a huge crab look at that thing oh how cool is that man that's why I like coming out here doing stuff like this you just never know what you're going to see all right we see some nature I'm happy Let's, uh, let's carry on through the heat and uh, hopefully not too much further to go. Check that out. Yeah, that's cool. All right, we're going to move on now, people. All right, friends. We have made it. Here is the World War II bunker sign this way. So we had ducked through here. And there it is. I mean, is that not crazy? Way out here in the middle of nowhere. So this is where the Fort Fisher Hermit called home for many years. And they have a little plaque here. Yeah. Unsolved death. 
his grave is at the Fetter Point Cemetery, which I know where that is, and we will go there next to go see his grave. It's on the back side of the island off of uh, River Road. So yeah, man. Just walk in here. I don't know how much is got some graffiti. There's a crab over there on the wall. I bet all kind of living creatures love this thing because it is quite a bit cooler here. A lot of echo, but this is where he lived for quite a while, man. I mean, that's just it's amazing. And I guess if you wanted to, you could, if you was feeling energetic, you could climb up on the roof and kind of look around, but it's pretty thick, the foliage and stuff back here. So you probably ain't gonna see too much up there. But uh, that's it, man. There we go. We know where he stayed. So now if you wanna be adventurous sometime and come out here, you know, uh, you know kind of how to get there. It does exist. So it's just out here in this marsh off the Basin Trail. So uh, I'm gonna continue on. And uh, I guess the next stop will be his uh, grave site at the cemetery. So uh, I will see you there. I got a good walk back. So if I see anything exciting, I'll make an update to the video. All right. All right, guys, that, uh, there's the Basin Trail behind us. We uh, went out there, checked out the bunker. Now the next step is to go see his grave site on the backside of Pleasure Island off of River Road. And uh, I'm on my way now. I cannot wait to get in the air condition. Oh my goodness. It is so hot out here today. So please, if you do come in the future, just remember, don't be crazy and uh, do it in the August, you know. Do yourself a favor and uh, come out here in the fall or early spring. All right, I will see you in two seconds. All right, guys, we, uh, this right here is River Road on the back side of Pleasure Island and the Fort Fisher Herman is actually buried back here in Federal Point Methodist Church Cemetery. So we're gonna walk back here and uh, check it out. So just to give you an idea, there's the road, there's the highway, and here is the cemetery. So we're just gonna walk straight on back. You see that's all fenced in, so I don't know. I don't know exactly how close we can get, but check it out. And I'm gonna make this very, very quick. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because of the mosquitoes. They love me. I'm not kidding you, they're like all over the place back here. So try to make this really quick. So this is it right here. I knew exactly where to come, so check that out. So here we go. Right here's where he lays, June 4th, 1972. You can see people here, actually has like a frying pan, you know, and this is what I was reading to you about in the beginning. They actually got real money there. So he, he is very beloved in this area. I will definitely say that, you know, everybody around here, you know, knows about the Fort Fisher Hermit for the most part, especially the locals that's lived here for many years. and. My family, we've uh, we've been coming to these areas for you know my whole life pretty much. So I always heard heard about him. So, alrighty, let's uh, move on because, like I said, it is very mosquitoy. So uh, let's uh, let's trek on out of here. All right, guys, this concludes our video today. It was uh it was trying today, but we made it through it, and uh. I hope everybody comes out and checks us out in the future if you're in this area in Wilmington, North Carolina. Come down to Pleasure Island. Check this out. You know, just plan accordingly. And uh, I think it's really interesting. And uh, it's a nice little nature walk. So uh, that concludes today's video. If you would, please subscribe to the channel. We have some more content coming. Anybody who follows us on Instagram, Hitchhiking Yeti. Uh, we... I actually love going to Disney World, Universal. We go to Florida quite often. And uh, we will have content coming from those parks in the very near future because the 50th anniversary is coming up. So uh, all in all, thank you. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a blessed day, and uh, Godspeed.